What's going on? Stranger things. What do I do? Um, bathroom. I can hide in there. Oh, it's locked. Um, covers. I'll just hide in my covers. I don't know, man. These lights are just weirding me out. Well, I've seen stranger things. Grant, what are we doing today? We are balling. We're playing basketball. Guys, this is Ivan. So, guys. He's going to be balling out with us today. And we are so excited to be balling. It's been three weeks since we last balled. It's good to get out there Gotta on our way. Got to work out after that fire, man. Oh, yeah. Going to play basketball here at Calvary Church. We're going to play some basketball with Patrick Smith. You ready, Pat? I'm ready. It's been a while. Patrick was born ready. We're excited for this. Haven't balled out in so long. Let's go. Got to get that warm up in, you know? Can't go out cold. <laughs> First step, get her basketball shoes out and get ready. Patrick, how do you feel about basketball today? Feeling pretty good, you know, just I set some good screens for my teammates and just try to get people more involved. So, you know, just want to get that W and be a locker room presence. How do you feel about Doris Burke? Doris Burke? Doris Burke. Who that? You know, she's she's one of the best at her craft. She's just a people person at heart. And, you know, she's one of the, she'll go down as one of the greatest uh, commentators of all time. Cedric, how about you? First of all, I'd like to thank uh, Sedexo. I'd like to thank my mom and uh, JJ for opening the gym up today. Yeah, Doris Burke's one of the best. She's a leader on and off the court. Her post-game interviews to my 2K player have always been fair and balanced. I look forward to hearing more about Doris. Thank you, Cedric, and thank you, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well I'm back from basketball. It went well. Had a lot of fun playing. My shoulder feels pretty good. Even though it's still a little bit messed up from my skateboard accident three weeks ago. Who knows why. But it was a lot of fun playing. I had a good time. Right now I have a huge list of things I gotta get done for today and tomorrow. Starting with my screenwriting homework. I need to read about 20 pages in this, watch a movie, critique it, write a log line, then I need to write a character description about the most religious person, and then the last thing I need to do for that class is write a scene where it's three pages long, it has two characters, and it is one location. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I got a lot of work ahead of me. I'm gonna get to it. Oh, and I also need to write an outline for a paper I'm doing on virtual reality, also known as VR. I'm doing that for my grand challenges in science and technology class. Fun stuff! But before I get to that, check this out. My lights blink. How cool is that? But yeah, now it's time to work. I love these lights so much. Okay, well I got my reading done. I typed out my character, and now I just have to find articles for my VR outline paper. VR? Ooh. Yeah. Justin, I'm writing a paper about VR. What do you think of that? <laughs> hey, we have VR right here. What? A Samsung Gear VR. If you ever want to use it, I can give you a scary game to play. Justin! Why did I not know about this? I told you about this after it, and then no one cared. <laughs> yep. Uh, no one cared, yeah? Yeah, no one cared about it. <laughs> We're totally gonna have to react to scary video games on the VR headset. Hey, what are the chances you try tonight? No, You're I'm just not afraid, afraid of playing the VR game. I'm not It's afraid. terrifying. But yeah, it's been a good study session. I got a lot of work done, and I also made this. Whoopow! It's my own DIY softbox. I'll show you, check it out. I have my lamp right here, my duct tape, and my cardboard box, and the trash bag. So now, I can have better lighting for the show, as well as my blinking Stranger Things lights. Which, by the way, they're still La La Land lights, but now they're just Stranger Things as well. Um, so yeah, this is really cool. I also made a second one, in case Justin wanted it, but he doesn't. <laughs> I don't know if Tori wants it or not. It so bad. But yeah, so how awesome is this? 
I'll have to give you guys a DIY tutorial sometime. Did you not record yourself making that? No, I did not record myself Why making that. Why not? That, that would have given you Because I forgot to, Justin, okay? You're, you do this every day. How do you forget to record it? Because I do. Because. Horrible. <laughs> I was in the middle of studying and I got distracted and I made that and I was like, whoa, this is so cool. And I was like, wait, I forgot to film it. And then I was and like, you, okay, you well, I'll make again. another one. You and then I forgot to film it again. <laughs> what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, well, eventually I will make another one and I'll make a video about it. So what exactly is a softbox and what does that even mean? Well, good question, Jack. Let me tell you. So this is my wall and this is my finger. There are two different types of light, hard light and soft light. This is an example of hard light. You see, my shadow over here is very, very distinct. And you can see that it's clearly in the shape of my finger. Now this is soft light. Whoa, let's turn this brightness down. You see, the shadow is not nearly as distinct as the hard light. Soft light, you don't really have much of a shadow. Hard light, you have a very distinct shadow. Hard light makes your face look really, really harsh. You see those distinct shadows. Soft light is a lot less distinct and it makes you look more beautiful in a way. And trust me, I need all the help I can get. Why? <laughs> so that's a quick explanation of what hard versus soft light is, and that's why I use the soft box. I'm sure I'm going to talk about it more in the future. Justin, what do you think of my soft box? I am not impressed. Hunter? <laughs> Dory. I love it. It's so cool. See, that's the type of answer we need. No, just kidding. I, I appreciate all of you. We should have a DIY off. Yeah, but Jack's we can win. I'm pretty good at DIY. I think you and my dad should have a DIY off, and then we'll see who wins. Joey, I need you to show Hunter how to do a kickflip real quick. Okay. So basically, a kickflip is like you have your board, right? You're standing right there. First off, you gotta know what a skateboard is. We missed a step. First, get out your Thrasher T-shirt. Put on your high top vans. <laughs> I already got my low top vans. Does this count? But you don't have your Thrasher T-shirt. Check it out. All right, kickflip. Okay, well that's all for today. Thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, and Hunter, what should they do? Be awesome! <laughs> or stuff like that. <laughs> Ready, in action. Oh, I've seen Stranger Things. Well, I've seen Stranger what? Things. Well, I've seen, no. Well, I've seen Stranger Things. Well, I'll, well, I'll, well, I'll, well, I've seen Stranger Things. Well, I've seen... No, okay.